Speaking on a program on the National Communications Network, former National Tushar Council Chairperson Yvonne Pearson reiterated that the budget is for the people. She expressed the view that the combined opposition by the proposed action care little about the welfare of the citizens. I'm disturbed. And not only me, I, only I alone are disturbed, but people across this country, because I've been talking to some of our people, and they're really disturbed of what is happening in Parliament and to the 2013 budget about the proposed cut by the combined opposition, I want to say. But the budget in itself, it's a real budget. Ms. Pearson noted that if the 2030 national budget is cut, this will stifle the upward mobility of the nation's first people. We are disappointed at the proposed cut. Why again? Why target the LCDS? And that is where our indigenous peoples stand to benefit. Think about it. Our electrification project, where the communities that have not received as yet, because some of our villages have received our solar panels. There are still villages out there. I wonder if the members of the combined opposition took the time off to go to these villages, to talk to the people. The former NTC chairperson added that since the implementation of the solar panel distribution program in hinterland communities, students can now study at nights. She also pointed to the importance of the One Laptop Family Initiative, which many Amerindians are looking forward to. It is her view that the opposition wants to see the Amerindian people move backward with the cutting of these critical projects. Ms. Pearson denounced the proposed cuts to the 2013 budget as baseless, while noting that the slashing of allocations will affect the entire economy. She also alluded to the cutting of the funds for the Low Carbon Development Strategy and Information and Communication Technology programs, which are particularly important for the young people. This too, she said, will directly affect Amerindian communities. This is Archibald Hawk for the NCN News.